Please, Nicholas, back into yes, yes, back again, back again, back again. Got some more stuff for you later. Today we have a Linux Mint 15 release candidate XFCE, all the way around. But it's the XFCE version of Linux Mint 15, a new, new one, yeah, new, new one. Release candidate, yeah, yeah, baby, you know what I'm saying. Now, on first impressions on the screen, it's a lot clearer and brighter and nicer in general. I don't know whether it's saying anything's changed there, or they've done a bit more work, but it does actually look a lot better. Yes, it does indeed. I'm going to go through a few things with you. Not too much change, but there is change, if you know what I mean. And we'll go and have a look at that in a little while, okay? Firstly, we'll go for a basic XFCE bar, so time and date, my Ethernet connection, more up to date as it's installed, and my volume. Okay, so look there, there's my volume. Hello, volume, how are you? I'm very fine, thank you. Over here, we have a file manager, so we can open up, or places even. So, sneaky waste bucket, just a file system. Yeah, it's alright. And go there, restore the minimize window, or go something else with it. Yeah. So, anyway, you can have icons on the screen, but actually, this actually looks rather nice on my nice new monitor. Yes, thank you very much. I'll open the menu up. Okay. I'll go through the menu with you, and we'll go through a few things, and we'll see what's changed, really, at the end of the day. I will say this straight away. I've had a lot better luck with this one, okay? than I have with Mint recently. Mint has just not been playing ball with me, personally, for quite a while. Now, all of a sudden, this was released Monday, I think it was, all of a sudden, it's just doing what it says on the in. Yeah. So, basic XFCE run program, terminal emulator, or the terminal, file manager, web browser, the software manager, which is their own, as you know, settings, loads of settings, I won't go through them yet, accessories, graphics, internet, multimedia, office system, log out, sorry, log screen, and log out. Log out, log out, or log on, log on. Okay. So, it's just file manager. Yeah, we'll see a file manager. Go on, open it, mate. Yeah. Here's my old file manager. That's nicey, nicey. There's nothing in there. No, 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 not done anything that much of it. But as you can see, I've changed the font and stuff like that to the Ubuntu font, because I like that one. Yes, it's I just do. It's nice. And it's free and open source and nicey, nicey. Okay. Web browser, software manager. We'll go to the software manager first. Do a bit of installation. One thing. Oh, what's my password? One thing I will say, you know a few releases ago, when you installed something, it wouldn't go on any further, it wouldn't say it's actually installed and you had to restart the software manager. Well the last version of Mint I reviewed, that doesn't happen anymore, and I must say in this one, it doesn't happen either, and it's a bit quicker as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to quickly install a package for you. So if we click on the internet, hello internet, how are you, and while it's doing that, let's have a bit of a drinky drink in here. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. And there, as you can see, Skype is already in their repos. Right, yeah, it is already in the repos. So, should we have a look? Because that shouldn't be too much to download if it's in the repos. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's version 42011. That's one. Okay. There is a new version out, as far as I know. I'm not sure if it's the one. But I did read there was a new version. Yes, I want to install it. So, basically, all we do see, look, it's really, really quick. Yeah, quick look. It's only 17 megabytes to download. I know, oh yeah, I know it's Microsoft, yeah, but hey, it does what it says in the Tim. And if you've got nothing to hide, it doesn't really matter if somebody's into your calls, is it really? Especially if you're talking to your mum in Australia or something. There's not going to be anything secret in there, is there really, that you don't want anybody to know? Not really, no, not really. And don't forget, your USB microphones and your webcams will all work out of the box. And that's installed already. Done. You see, look. Thank you. It's a lot quicker, as I said before. So that was good for me, anyway. So we'll go back to the menu, and we're going to go through it this time. So... I'm not going to go through settings for the simple reason you can you can do that yourself really. You can change all the fonts yourself and stuff like that. Change your language and you do fast driving, display and you dis. Oh, you do get desktop sharing as well. Yeah, desktop sharing. That's one of the good things about Mint. Yep. Okay, accessories. The application finder, the archive manager, calculator, not calculator. Oh, my dear. A document viewer for viewing PDFs. You get it from your Take a screenshot. The usual thing. Yeah, just take a screenshot. So we'll go, okay, let's take a screenshot. And that should have took a screenshot. Yeah. Should we save that? Yeah, we'll save that. Make sure that in my pictures, and that's fine. And it's all saved. All nicey nicey for us. Yeah, I mean? So if I go to here, and we go to me, and you'll see what I mean. And we go to my pictures. There's a screenshot we just took. See how easy it is to do? It's really, really easy. So if you're really new to Linux and you don't know what distro to use, Linux Mint might be for you. It's not for everybody. It may be for user. Okay, that's all right. Anyway, where was we? Oh, yeah. There's accessories still, isn't it? 
Don't forget your task managers here as well. A Thuna for your file manager. Time by notes. Lovely. USB image writer. So you can make a bootable USB image of your system. Which is ideal if you want to take it out of you to somebody's house. Right. I've installed Blender just to make sure it works. But you do get a GIMP image by standard and a GTHAM. LibreOffice is by default. And you get Restrato for viewing your images. And of course, simple scan as you would say. So I'll open up Blender for you. I got this from the software centre. So I know it does what it says on Netin. Look at that. Super of oh nah, doesn't it look good in this oh yes good in 1080p man oh, I love it yeah should have one earlier really shouldn't I but yes all here that's what it says on the tin if you've never used Blender before there's loads of tutorials out there on the web point this me doing them because there's too many out there really to be honest with you I could do but Chris does really brilliant ones yeah you should you should know Chris yeah Except I'll say Chris you know I mean anyway down to internet Firefox is your default web browser of choice. Pigeon for your messaging. We've just installed Skype. So should we go to Skype there? Yeah, might as well. Make sure Skype works. I mean, oh, yep. Yeah, I agree. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, look, it's the new one. Well, newish. Okay, newish. So that's all there. Okay, I'm not going to sign in. I don't know. I might not want to know you. You're not pretty cool to me all the time, do I? No. What do you think you are? Okay. Anyway, what else under internet? Transmission and XChat as standard, as I said before. We'll go to the browser in a minute. Okay. Multimedia. Right. Audio mixer, Banshee, OpenShot I installed, and Radio Tray. They all work. If you don't know what Radio Tray is, and you want to listen to music in the background without no big thing on the and down and stuff like that, Radio Tray is the one for you. When it decides to open like so. So there's a little icon here. Nice icon in this one. So if we go here, we just choose the sort of music you want to listen to. So we should we say... Yeah, Sky FM top hits for instance, okay? Just for instance. And it's playing there. It's lovely, yeah. That's what it says on tin, see? That's what it says. You can put your own in there as well, by the way. Your own radio station. So if you want to listen to Radio 1 Extra, stuff like that, you can do, or Kissology, whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah something. It's all there anyway. Okay. I'll have an open shot for you, just so you can see it. It does what it says on the tin, as usual. Nicely, nicely. I'll have a drink again. Mm. Raspberry and Apple today. There you go. Open shot. Nice full screen. Does what it says. Ideal for basic editing. Obviously, if you want to do more complicated editing, you can use Caden Live or the other one. Wait, what's called? Is it Fireworks? Lightworks? Fireworks or something? Yeah, anyway. I've got it and I just haven't got around to using it really. But yeah, open shot. We'll just do Fire Me. Does chroma keys and everything else? Yeah, it does what it says. Oh, yeah. Of course it does. Under Office, the full LibreOffice suite, yeah, the full one. So I open one up for you. This is Impress for doing your, you know what I mean, doing your stuff, isn't it? Now, I've not actually opened this one before, so it's going to be a little bit slower than normal. This is the 32-bit version, by the way, but it should be no different between 32 and 64. Yeah. There we go. That's all, isn't it? Just, it does what it says, you know, and it's free. And you don't have to have Linux to have it. It is cross-platform. Yes, cross-platform LibreOffice is. So, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Right, under system, there's lots here. Firewall configuration, you can do that. Don't have to if you don't want to, of course, but you can do. Would help. Synaptic is here. The software manager, task manager, time and date, your update manager, and upload manager. Users and groups, Windows wireless drivers, you shouldn't need them. You should plug in your dongle. It should be by default, okay? And some backup tools at the top as well. So that was all lucky toy, wasn't it? Anyway, as I said before, we're going to go straight back to Firefox. Hello, Firefox. How are you? Now, I've just updated it, and so it should be 21 or 22 now. I can't remember now. So, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, this is one annoying thing I, that does get me with um, Linux Mint. They're using Yahoo, okay? I don't want to use Yahoo, do I? There's not even an option for something else. So for that, I'm going to use DuckDuckGo. Yeah, no, no, no. Here we are, Linux Mint 15 Olivia XFC release candidate is released. It was released on Monday. I know it's Thursday now, but yeah, I've been doing other stuff, man. Someone's got to do work, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Blimey. I was thinking about some Petra. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Okay, so it's been released. We're going to click on it and we'll just go through the things that have changed and what it supports and what it doesn't support. It's not too much. New features and glasses, XFC 4.10, MDM, yeah, software sources, yeah, driver manager, works, artwork improvements, it does. I must agree with you very much. And upstream components. Now, you do need PA support for 32 bit ISOs, EFI supported, and local repository and known PPP. It, it will run on a half a gig, but a gig is alright now, and it's so cheap anyway now. Ram, 
It's not like it was a few years ago, is it? Excuse me there. Hmm. So yeah, that's all hunky dory. Now, we'll go to the BBC. We're just going to render a page for you just to see what it's like. And there's the official site there. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. And there we go. That renders all nice, doesn't it? If I just hold control a minute and then use my little wheel to make it a bit bigger. There you go. Because it fills the whole screen then. Can you see what I mean? Yeah, nice, baby. Yeah, renders all fine. Nice, 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 nice. We'll just click on there just to see where it Just make sure it yeah, looks all right for you. Yeah. There we go. Hunkily of the Dory. Lovely. Jubbly. Right. Linux Mint 15 Olivia XFC release candidate. I'm very, very impressed with it, actually. I'm going to leave it on this system, have a play with it for a few days. If I have any problems, I will come back and let you know. If I don't, you know it's super fine. Lovely jubbly. Yeah. Okay. What am I going to give it? Well, normally I wouldn't give it anything as a release candidate, would I, or a beta? But you know, in the little time I've been using it, it's super of the duper of the fine. I can't actually fault it just yet. Nothing's gone bang. And I do prefer XFC on it than some of the other stuff that I use. I'm just not really into cinnamon personally. No, really. Some of you are, some of you ain't. So I'm going to give it, you know what? I'm going to give it 92. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye bye. <laughs>